The Commerce Department through NIST has launched an effort to enhance the security and integrity of the technology supply chain. The process aims to improve the way that cybersecurity risks are managed as they relate to supply chains. Tony Scott is the former Federal Chief Information Officer. Tony, welcome to the program. Good to see you again. All right, so give us an example of a risk to the supply chain that a federal agency would need to manage. Well, one of the big ones is, you know, after you get your initial gear set up and installed and the hardware and the software and network connections working and so on, um, there's ongoing activities that take place. Uh, there's software updates, there's firmware and hardware uh, changes, there's operational maintenance activities that take place. And all of those are opportunities for bad things to sneak into an environment that may have been perfectly good to start off with. So that's just one example of probably many, but one that I, as a former CIO, worried about a lot. Apparently, Tony, there are over 30 different supply chain security efforts going on across the government. Why so many and why not just unify that effort? Well, I think it represents the enormity of the task, really. Um, and, uh, you know, every organization faces uh, different threats. The things that you're trying to protect may be very different across uh, the government. And um, so on the one hand, I think it's good that everybody's paying a lot of attention to this. But I do agree. I think there's a opportunity to consolidate some of the efforts and and make it a little more focused. Um, and, you know, these things tend to evolve over a period of time. Um, I'm actually pleased that the focus on supply chain has uh, crystallized uh, more quickly than some other things have in the past, let's just say. So how useful do you think is the NIST cybersecurity framework currently? Is it doing what it needs to do? Well, I think it's a great starter piece of work. I think the areas that we really need to focus on now are things like um, management best practices, um, uh, governance uh, issues, um, things like, you know, who, who, you know, who makes decisions about cybersecurity in an organization and how quickly issues get escalated and, and to whom. Um, I think we need to do further work on the role of the government versus the role of the private sector in um, cybersecurity matters. Because uh, as we've seen, there's all kinds of actors from petty thieves all the way up to nation states. And, and so I think there's more clarification needed in some of those areas. Not necessarily work that just NIST needs to do, but the federal cybersecurity community as a whole. So give me a little bit more specifics, Tony, about the changes that need to be done, specifically with, with regards to securing the technology supply chain. Well, I think um, the, the first thing that I think needs to be done is uh, understanding that and uh, in, in creating at the highest levels of government, uh, you know, the uh, awareness that uh, the, the size of this problem and the uh, and the gravity of it uh, on the one hand. And I think you're starting to see that. I think the Biden administration has done a good job with the various EOs that have come out and the focus from the president's management council and, and other groups. But ultimately that needs to work its way down into specific actions in each of the agencies. Um, and this is where CISA and some of the other agencies I think will play a a, a really big role going forward. You know, I want to ask you about the international dimension. So if there's a component in the supply chain coming from a foreign country, what are the systems that we have in place to ensure its safety and security? Well, I think we rely on a multi-tiered approach today. Um, first is, you know, the, um, the manufacturers or the suppliers of that equipment um, have to have processes and procedures in place to make sure uh, just for their own businesses survival sake that they they're not shipping bad stuff in their uh, components or, or software on their uh, systems and so on so the first line of defense really starts there with the OEMs and, and their supply chain 
So uh, you, oh, sorry, go ahead, Tony. Well, and then you build on that, you know, with the um, organizations that are responsible for installing and supporting the equipment. Uh, and then, as I mentioned earlier, the operational practices once um, once things have been installed. So it's a multi-layered approach and you can never stop. It's a 24-7, 365 days a year uh, sort of effort. All right. Well, Tony, I appreciate you being on the program. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thanks so much.